And what will later today, Valley Raceway? It's heat race two for the eight cylinders brought to you by Foster's Fire and Safety. We thank them for their support this year. Heat race winner early this afternoon, the 48 Kinsman's going to start first. Ed Pinio, second in points, is in second for this race. James Graves, who splits the blow with John Met in the 14, he's going to start in third, and that car is leading the points coming into today's racing. And then the returning Devin Wires in the white 16 in fourth. In years past, Devin Wires and Josh Rainforth have been the cars here at Valley Raceway. The eight cylinders always putting on a fun show. Let's see what he can do this time around. We saw a good battle between the 18 or the uh, 48 and the 11 last race. Ten laps, eight cylinder action, heat race number two is in the way of Valley Raceway. Not sure if Devin Wires was figuring out the kinks in heat race one. He almost went from fourth to first on the start. And Pinio is going to grab first in turn two with Devin Wires going in front of the 14, James Graves. James will dive under and slam to the race because the 48 also in his race. had to be able to win every race. He wasn't able to do it earlier, so now it's just a matter of making up as many points as he can to try and solidify maybe a second point position. No Roddy Weir today at Valley Raceway. His zero has engine troubles. The 11th going to the 16 of Wires. Wires is a very fast driver here at Valley Raceway, as we were mentioning. Not racing as much. I think he only raced the first two races this year. And now it's time for the finale Sunday here. At Valley Raceway, he is having the 11th right in this class, right in this windshield. And the 14 of James Graves is in fourth spot right now, watching all these cars battle in front. Single file and a two. This will be lap number four as we come around, so six laps remaining for the 11 of video. Wires, oh, he tried going high there. He had to let off the gas a little bit, but when you let off, sometimes you can get a really fast charge in a turn two, as you can see. Look how look how much he's able to reel in that video coming into the turns. Halfway through, five in, five to go. Wires was taking the high road there, the high bank road, if you will, trying to go and catch up to the 11. Don't count out the 48 of Kingsman. He's also closing in on the 16th. Who is closing in on Ed Pinio? Three cars all going for first. Here's the pass for second. Kids with over the 16. He's looking. Can he shove the 16 up and up to get second? He's doing a good job so far, but Devin Wires is faster on the outside. While they're side by side, Ed Pinio is going to be loving that, looking at his rear view here. Seeing those two cars side by side. wants to catch up. He can't be playing battle for second with the 48 because it's going to slow him down a little bit. Two laps to go. This time around for Ed Pinio with the number 11. He's let off the start. Two laps to go. Devin Wires has got his hands full now battling with the number 48 of Kinsman. Kinsman won heat race number one earlier. He's nowhere near first for now. One flag is going to come out for Ed Pinney on that number 11 as it starts to cool down in Valley Race where the action intensifying the eight cylinders. Still side by side for second. It's been like that for about three laps now. Now there's the pass for second. Kinsman grabs second from Wires. To the finish, Ed Pinney is going to drive smoothly out of four. Pinney wins. Heat race number two. Second goes to Kinsman. Third to Wires. the number 11 to gain some points on the 14 as we go along this afternoon. The old Punisher logo is off at number 11, but it's still got that Punisher power underneath the hood. Ed Pinio wins heat race number two in the eight cylinders at Valley Raceway. 48 Kinsman will land in second. 
And Ed will whip it around here and wave off the checkered flag to all of you coming in this afternoon and Thanksgiving Sunday. Big win for Pinio. Going to help him out in the points. Not as tight as it trucks, but it's going to be fun to watch a little later. And again, this car will be in the King of the Dirt competition later this afternoon. In fact, this car won King of the Dirt last year with Rick Balser behind the wheel. Comes around turn two and turn one waving that checkered flag again. Big win for the Punisher at Pinio at Valley Raceway. He'll drop off the checkered flag and we'll get that 11 off the track. And we're going to bring out more four cylinders. Wave number two for Heat. The four cylinders is up next.